this up. Okay, Battle Truth on YouTube. You are one of my official go-to sources. As you know, I'm still involved in battle rap behind the scenes. Yeah, yeah. Nah, so, nah, so, so. nah, but, but. He's hilarious. Battle Truth. Nah, he's wild hilarious. He's also got his own thing. You feel what I'm he's saying? He's mad funny. You know what I mean? So, but like. He, with, with him, though, another thing with him, like. And I'm not talking bad about him. I respect him. I like him. I, mm. I watch his channel. I watch. I watch like him. A judge and shit. Yeah, like yeah. That. I, I go to his channel. I, I can say myself before I go to anything else. You go to battle truth first. I go to battle truth first. I'm being honest. That's crazy. I want to see what you talk about. How he's saying it. But Where's my damn gavel at? Dang it. Hold on. Hold on. Take it! Take it! They ain't the gavel on your damn self. Don't worry, I'll do it for you. No. No, 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 man. Get up out of here with that trash, man. No, man. All in the court. Yo, yo, we need all in the court. I can't, I can't put up with this. Objective. Objective. Please, please tell me that didn't happen to no Andrew. Fifteen minutes of fame, they won't promote your content. They said the battle truth is that rock a pipe a boy, and they did a blog about it. What's that to salute? You bang your hammer when nobody's around. Let's give this battle truth. What it do, man? It's your boy Battle Truth coming to you live and direct from the Battle Truth headquarters along with my lovely, beautiful co-host, Miss Jess. How you doing? I'm here. I'm lovely. How you doing? Yep, 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 yep. You know, work as usual. Work as usual. So what's on the agenda, man? So there's a trending topic going around. Did you know about URL bringing back the rooftop battles? <laughs> most respected battle rap league. They want to do the rooftops again. What's that called when you got your house and you want to just redo everything over again? What's that called? Oh, not, not so um, much remodeling. It's it's um reno, uh, renovating. renovating. Yeah, renovating. Mm -hmm. That's what the URL need to do from top to bottom. I, I, I just. It's just sad to see why haven't they did this yet? And they the only one who can do it because they have the roster to to complete this, to actually take battle rap to a whole nother level. Now, Surf took my idea, but wasn't able to uh, 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 perfect it the way it's supposed to be. When I first came to battle rap, I let this be known out of the gate. Yeah. How battle rap can be bigger and better and even bring in more stars and sponsors and advertisers okay. because you have to in order for it to be a, re, a sport that has to be a reward and the champion of the year thing that they tried to incorporate the touch on that's not good enough and it's not something to make people want to come see see people want to see the super bowl people want to see the nba all-star game People want to see the Stanley Cup. People want to see the Masters. People want to see the what the soccer thing says? World Cup. The World Cup. Because in every sport, there have to be an objective and goal to make everybody lock on the target to want to go out there. Something on the line. Right. Yeah. You talking about they bringing back rooftop battles. It's nothing but a battle on the roof. And what's that? Ain't nobody jumping the hell off who lose. Ain't nobody jumping off who lose. Okay? We don't want that. We don't want that either. But Don't nobody live in a damn apartment building to actually get kicked out. So you just saying, let's, I got a thing. How about rooftop battles? What's the good of it being a rooftop battle if the loser don't jump? It's not a rooftop battle. Try to make it sound good, but it's the same damn lineup. Here's the thing, man. Two events that the URL have, they got big names, but they actually the same event. 
Gnome and Summer Madness is the same event. Just, just, just two big names okay. with just a night of events. Let me tell you what they should do. Since Summer Madness is said to be the Super Bowl of battle rap, they should uh, 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 renovate Gnome. And I'm going to tell you, listen, you are real. Here goes some game for you. And y'all have all the matchup needed for the night. Because the um, the name for gnome means night of main events. That's the ac- that's the acronym for gnome. Night of main events. Take gnome, and when you're making it the night of main events, add the titles for every match. Every match is a title match. And you got all the categories needed for this to be the biggest thing in hip hop. This will be the biggest thing in hip hop. Bigger than Rolling Loud and all that. You know why? Because now you have just given battle rap an objective and goal to go after. You have everything in this night of main events and every event is a title match. You have the tag team title. You have the female title. And you only do this one time a year. You only do this one time a year. You don't do two, three, no, do you? You do this one time a year. You have the tag team match. You have the female title match. You have the top tier title match. You have the PG title match. You have the mid tier title match. So you got battle rap covered in this one night of main events. Every match is a title match for the title, and all titles must stay on the URL. You can't take them somewhere else. And this only happens one time a year. And based upon who the contender is, is how good you are to compete for the title or what you did that year. You get what I'm saying? So yeah. if you incorporated this, this will start a buzz throughout the world by which people was going to want to look into this. And then you get real good belts made for them where they actually look real. That's what blew up the WWL. You got to put in titles. Yeah. Championship title. You got intercontinental title. You got the women title. You got the tag team championship. You can't just throw matches without titles. And y'all doing the same old thing and still ain't figured this out yet. Then you said, well, we're going to do one title that the, the battle rapper who did good all year, all he's going to do is get get a champion of the year award title. But he don't he don't never compete for it. It ain't never it ain't never a competition for it. Nope. And, it and it's only good. And it's like a damn it's like a damn uh, subscription. It's only good for one year. Like, no, no, man. That's what they need to do. Right. It should be good if it's going to knock you off that that position, like you said. Yeah, Surf Surf tried to do it. Surf tried to do it. He had them cheap generic belts, though, that looked like they was made at Builder Bear. That looked like Santa's little elf them made it. Like, it it was terrible. Snake Eyes got his ass whooped for for that belt. Like, a real fight. Like, some some people in the wheel... He got how you get stumped by people in a wheelchair? Like that's crazy to me. They legs don't work. They legs ain't no good. No how you? No, look, but but I'm joking. The, I know the, the leg. They had the don't be a minute while drinking, <laughs> drinking your juice in the hood leg. You know, you know the dude in the wheelchair. You know the the crush the crush leg. They was kicking them with the <laughs> we call them grasshoppers. <laughs> if you ever saw grasshoppers legs, <laughs> they fat, they fat at the top. <laughs> no, <laughs> right? no. Yeah, they were stumping him in tone tone bro with the grasshopper legs. <laughs> oh my goodness. Yeah, but that's what they have to incorporate. Come on, you got to you got to make it exciting. Let me tell you something else that's so impactful about it. It gives you a reset. What I mean by gives you a reset. Now instead of just re people having rematches, let's say for instance, we got these titles. 
Now we could actually compete against people we competed against already, but the only difference is something is on the line if you are said to be a good contender for that year to contend for a title shot for yep. that year. So yep. now rematches have more relevant to them now because it's something on the line. And it seems like they not getting it. They don't understand it. Like, come on, what are you doing? You're talking about, he bringing back rooftop battles. Rooftop battles. Come and on, as man. a writer, you're going to, you're going to need to be motivated. This Facts. Time. After doing it for so many years, shout outs to Tay Rock. I don't know how. And all the other battle rappers that have been doing it for decades. But like, make it interesting. Like you said, the only thing I would say and add to what you said is they need to get incorporate the, the the title matches and then also have judges or have like a grid, a grading grid. And just like in boxing, there's people that are judging the fight and gives, you know, what you got each round. Just just because I feel like if they they like you or if you listen to them more or more co cooperative with them, they tend to like say you win instead of like actually giving the person that won the battle. I'm glad you said that too, yeah, because yeah. they should have judges and they should have real legit judges. And I'm going to keep it real. Like one of the judges, one of the judges, no doubt should be, I'm going to tell you who all three of the judges should be. If That's they, true. if, if, no, nah, I don't want no bloggers. I would be an excellent judge because everybody know I know how to write. I know bars. I understand. I don't use no favoritism, and I'm gonna call it like it is, regardless to their feeling. But I know so I said you. But yeah, facts, facts, and you would be right because everybody know I call this stuff real, whether they like it or not. They'd be like, "Oh, true." Well, you're the only one said that because it's obvious I'm paying attention. That's why. Okay. Damn. But here's the thing. I'm gonna tell you who the, who the judges should be if they not in title matches around. Three judges will always be. No, four. One, two, three, four. I'm gonna say for, for tiebreakers. I think four is good because there's three rounds, and so mm -hmm. everybody, if there's a tiebreaker that needs to happen, the fourth person would be there. That wouldn't be a tiebreaker. The fourth person to make it even. Oh, never mind. Never mind. Never mind. Third. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> I, I say four because I'm just going by what I know of these people. What I know of these people. Okay. Chilla Jones. I'm going to say the names and people are going to already know. Chilla Jones, mm -hmm. Danny Myers, Quantum Physics, DNA. Those are four judges I would have judging these things, this event, because they are said to be the ghost writers in battle rap. They understand what goes into battle rap. Okay. And I would trust their judgment over um, mostly anybody's when it comes to that. Because one one thing who shouldn't be judges, bloggers shouldn't be judges. I don't think most of the people who confess to be battle rap bloggers, like they don't know, they don't know nothing about no. I be listening to their recaps and what they be saying. That'd be terrible, horrible. Especially if anybody chose Big K over Moot. That was that it, or Big K even over Rex. That's, that's telling a lot, right? You don't know a damn thing about battle rap when you say that, okay? That is obvious if you say that Big K beat Moot and Big K beat Rex. And I'm not yeah. saying that because I'm cool with them, because I'm not no damn dot mob, okay? I am a Christian, a born again, Bible believing Christian, okay? I could never be associated with gangs and all that type of stuff. And here's the thing that's real about what I'm saying. Right. If you said that those brothers lost those battles, that says a lot. And it lets me know that you're not being honest. That lets me know that you don't know a damn thing about rap. That lets me know that you had a personal agenda because there's no way he beat them. And if you're going to do that, this is why you don't have bloggers being judges because that's terrible. That Those battles wasn't even close that a person could actually say like, you know how people be like, I wouldn't be mad if somebody said Big K won because that's just how close it was. No, it wasn't. No, it wasn't. Sorry. So 
that's one reason why I don't like bloggers being um, judges because they compromise. They in bed with these battle rappers. And if they're not already in bed with these battle rappers, they want to be in bed with them. And if they have a rapport with them, they're going to give them the leverage. And if they don't have a rapport with them, they're going to sabotage any good thing that they do because that's some of the things they use to actually show um, their biasness towards other battle rappers when they don't socialize with them. That's one of the reasons why Moot and Rex don't ever get the favor of a lot of the battle rap bloggers because they don't do interviews with them. They don't have a rapport with them to some degree. So when you don't do that, they take that personal and they don't care, you know? So bloggers shouldn't be judges, but if you're going to have battle rappers being judges, <coughs> I believe the best judges is the one that's known for being the ghost writers of the whole entire uh, culture who everybody know those are the main ghost writers in battle rap. Danny Meyer, DNA, quantum physics, and Chilla Jones. Those should be the judges. Those should be the judges. But if they did that, it will blow battle rap up big because you got every category covered that's of relevance. You got the tag team match and, and it's different matches. You got the tag team matches, fight. And see, I even started out like that. I have John John and DNA or whoever the, the top tiers I would be. But I have it out. It it didn't have to start like that. I have John John and Don start out as being the uh John John and DNA have to be the PG killers. That that's how that it go. And it go like that. And for the, hey, I'm just going to keep it 100. I even make it even more exciting. If I'm first starting, so you know how you have like a grand opening? For a grand opening, I have John John and DNA compete for that title. Because them two known as being the PG killer. But you can only have one title holder that all the PGs have to go through. And they'll have to battle for that title in my grand opening. Actually just showing this is what we now incorporating. This is how it's going to be from here on now on the night of main events. Whoever win between John John and DNA that get this title, and it should be a bonus to every title. Whoever win and get this title, you have to go through one of them, depending on who win between them next year. So whatever PG is cooking and smoking that year, you have to compete against them for that, that title to be the next PG title holder as far as like taking you to the next level. Then when it comes to uh, 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 two on twos, whoever is so-called the best two on two, like a lot of people like the gun titles, but surf ain't here no more. A lot of people liked it um, in WX, but I'm going to tell you who actually undefeated in all two on twos and had a few of them. Briz, Roth, Thing, and T-Top. Them dudes don't, them dudes be cooking in two on two. They fire, fire, you know, things like that. They you, you got to compete against them on that. Then you got the mid tier. Uh, 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 when you look at the mid tier titles, who will actually be ones to compete for those type of things. See, it's stuff like that where you make that actually exciting. You get what I'm saying? And whoever is the champion of the year. Year nine town ten is a top tier. Whoever the champion of the year is, that's the one who holds the title for the top tier title that you have to compete against them. And then you got the female title, and whoever was the woe of the year for that year, she got the female title that the other women got to compete for. So you got everything right where you need it, right where you need it. You know what I'm saying? You got all let me see two on two female. PG, mid-tier, top-tier, and female. You got all six of your battles right there because there's six battles on every guard. So you got all six of your battles right there. That's a complete event. And I guarantee you, it'll take battle rap to a whole nother level. It'll take it to a whole nother level and bring in so many other sponsors and eyes and things like that because now you have made it a official sport. It's an official sport. So, 
you know, and things like that. You know, that's all they got to do. That's all they got to do. What you think about that, sis? You got to unmute. They said it was an arena. Well, they call themselves a hosting events and calling it an arena. What's the point of having two people match up with each other if there's not a title, right? Right. Um, to, to fight for or something on the line. Right. And at this point, after you've battled all that, you know, the best of the best, you then find yourself stuck and doing what Tay Rock's doing and just picking. <laughs> Or giving other people shots at just versing you. It's just like now it's just for fun, like it's a hobby, and it loses the competitive edge once you already I already matched with him. I already did that, so I don't want to have to do that again, unless there's something behind it, you know. So it makes sense, and so and I and I definitely think that the judging thing should be considered, and then also with the judging, have like a rule a rule break a rule break right. Where you can minus minus oh this is a minus five this is a plus five this is just two points they do this it's two points here so that no one's just scoring any which way just there's already a set rule brick all you got to do is check off how many times they do it and and then at the end you tally it up so that is fair so even if it's a blogger or maybe the blogger will check off stuff that they really didn't do but you can verify it like hey how many double entendres how many angles how you know stage presence like all that gets a score and it's already a preset score and you just got to do is just check it off if they do it but um yeah i i, I think it's 100 percent a good idea will they take it that's another question Facts. And with that being said, it's your boy Battle Truth along with my co-host, the lovely Miss Just. 